Okay, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Late December, and just before Christmas, the 12th of December, it's USA Eagles against the Orchard Lake. What's the mascot for the Orchard Lake, Scott Summers? I don't know. Orchard United. Lake. United. United, that's the right. United. They are the United. That's right. Looks like uh, looks, it is going to be a good game tonight. I'm excited to see. We've got Luke Conley starting in the net tonight. He hasn't played in a couple of weeks. It's going to be interesting to see how uh, he responds after a nice nice game by Hunter. Uh, see how he responds. Oh, it was a nice game last week. A lot of effort. Something behind victory, which usually doesn't happen for the Eagles. So when you get a uh, couple behind victory, you got a little fight in the guys. That's physical game last week. We had a lot of penalties. We've got to capitalize on that. The, not a whole lot of time to make this game go good. The Orchard Lake United team, they played nine games. They have not won a game yet. They have eight losses and, and one tie. 26 goals for and 45 goals against. So obviously, if you look at the standings, the problem is the back of the blue line for them. Well, I don't think that's very indicative of what this team is all about. I think they play some good teams. I think they're like with us. I think we're pretty evenly matched. I think you're going to see a good game tonight. For the good guys, we played 10 games. We've now won two games and we've lost eight. We have 23 goals and 38 uh, against. So you could argue that uh, our, we have a little bit of problem with the back of the blue line. There are some changes that are happening uh, as well for the uh, USA Eagles. There's been some line changes, it looks like. Well, so it's it good. Anytime you can pull some guys together, you got to figure out how they mess. And, and some guys learn to play with other guys and, and it brings the better out of some guys and makes it Harder. That's right. And you know what the new variable is? We got our new we got a secondary coach now to help uh, Coach Russ and Coach Paul, Matty Torminos. They called him up from the from the minor leagues to uh, coach the big squad. Well, that's good. It's, it's a lot easier when you have three guys on the bench. Absolutely. The that's right. Watch the game. That's that. Get that coach can focus on watching the game and not have to do line changes the whole time. Managing those X and o, X's and O's. I'm looking forward to this game because. The last time we played them, it was a good game. We got to the third period, got a little out of control, but, but that's where we rallied and put three game, three goals up against them to take a four to one victory. I want to thank. Uh... <laughs> so we're about we're about ready to go here. We're gonna play 15 minute periods. Adrian Lynch is doing the camera again. She's back. I want to thank her. You'll see this up on YouTube Land uh, later on. So it's a full house here. Uh, looks like number 18 for the Orchard Lake United team is uh, starting in goal tonight. So Patrick X Worthy's gonna come out with Theo Lyon, Corey Prince. Prince throws it back to Conklin, Conklin throws it down and Prince is on the four check. Puck comes rink wide now to number 12, that's Ferguson, he's gonna dump it just nice smooth save by Luke Connolly. And, he, and it was a giveaway there by Conklin. He throws it out in front, and the puck comes right in front, and Corey Prince has the puck, and he's on the move with a two-on-three. He dumps it down, and Lye's gonna go for a change along with uh, Cole comes in, keeps the puck inbound, goes on to stick of Agby. He's got a breath of steam. He throws it up, little front stop, front poke up. Cameron George comes out and fans on it. Ferguson's got the puck. Good stick, good four check, back check by Kyle. Cameron George looks like he's hurt. Maybe he's got a, something to the elbow. Could be cut, maybe. Cole comes back there and plays. helps play a little defense. Agby's on the move. He's got Lynch with him. Number 88's back. He dumps it right on the net. Scooped up by the goaltender, number 18. And we'll have a first stop at the play. A couple of easy giveaways there. We got to make sure we protect that puck in our own zone. We got, to, we got a little more time than we think. We can't just hand the puck to him. Up and down ice there. This is one of the new lines. We got Cole on there with uh, with Lynch now and Agby. See if they can generate a little bit of scoring up front. Cole playing a right wing, moving up from his defense. Cameron, Grayson Johnson is going to go on the puck, and Big Elinich is in there, number 33. Grayson does a good job of poking him in the back, pushing him out of the puck. Agby's over there to help out. He wins the puck. That's Conklin that has the puck. He gets bodied off and loses the puck, and it's poked forward onto Kyle's stick. Kyle throws it down onto the defenseman, number 88, and Cole's four checking. Cole falls down for some reason, loses an edge. He better get off because he's been on too long. He's been skating too much the last couple of, couple of games. Heavy hits now. N Nager's got the puck. 
This USA team better keep their heads up or they're gonna get, uh, they're gonna get hurt. The bigger team is obviously Orchard Lake, but that's been the case all season. Major's on the four check. He's got a head of steam and along with Everly now and uh, back to Werner. Werner regroups it, throws it up now to Grazinia. Grazinia didn't see it, goes around him and onto the stick of Orchard Lake. Everly wins the puck back and they're gonna start over again. He throws it forward onto the stick of Grazinia. Grazinia fans on it and M Marcus helps him out. Everly tried to pinch there, had the right idea, just puck uh, plinkled over his, uh, over his stick. Here comes Axworthy now and the next line change with Theo Lai. So we've been around once. The breakaway now for Elinich. He gets poked away by Luke Connolly. Good little poke step there. Can't Everybody's settling in here. Yep. Just trying to figure it out. Cameron jo George throws it now, rink wide, and comes out to center ice. Onto the stick now, Elinich, number 22. Number 22 is going on against the whole team there. Got to work on some spacing there. And that's Corey Prince who's got ahead of steam doing some four checking. Ferguson with the puck number 12. He's a big kid, throws it down to the defenseman number nine, Ellen it. Ferguson. Comes, pucks comes out of his own, dumps in. Everly's gonna get that puck. Head up, throws it down on the stick, and lai has got a chance now. Lai throws it and, and it's, it's, that's a good play by Theo Lai. Threw it off the boards. Got his rebound and fired in and under the wicket to the goaltender number 18. Good single shot by Theo Lai. You go to the net, you never know what happens. You gotta shoot that puck at the net. Very clever play by, I gotta give him, you know, he's a smart kid and he used his, his noggin there and knocked one in. It's one to nothing. 11.41 left in the first period. Good for Theo. Number 12, Ferguson takes the puck down deep. He's on the right wing, throws a rink ride. Leo throws it down to the stick of Prince. Prince has got it and it clears the zone. He gets it, he throws it down around the boards and they're gonna go for a change. Here comes Agby and, and uh, Grayson Johnson's gonna hustle on the puck down low. He throws it rink wide but loses it. It's a big boy, number seven. That's Axworthy, he's got a head of steam. He throws a rink wide to Cole. Cole's got a chance, let's see what he can do with it. He gets it, fires a shot right on the wickets. He throws it out in the center and Agby tries to come around and it's away now for Ferguson coming the other way. He said his name quite a bit, Ferguson already. Throws it wink, it's loose. He throws it down on the ground and it's a save by Luke Connolly initially, but he can't, they rebound and score. You got guys up front, they're not taking the man. They gotta take that man when he's standing there. You gotta body him, let him go over there. They just, they just let him stand there. I'm curious if uh, Conley got hurt on that play. He had to spread legs and it's uh, disappointing to see. It's now one to one with 10.46 left. We're on the mark for a high scoring. And both, like we said, both teams are uh, struggle a little bit on the defensive. They give up a lot of goals. Orchard Lake flips the puck, goes up and over and out of play. They're gonna make a change there. They're gonna bring Mason Marcus, Biggs, and uh, Neji out. No, Grazini, excuse me. So Grazini's gonna play right wing and Biggs is gonna play left wing. Is that safe to say with Marcus centering him? That's Elenich, wins the draw. Little slapper and Conklin's on the puck. Conklin throws it wide and to nobody and we're gonna get a penalty coming against, hard to say, is that on Marcus? No, it's on Orchard Lake. He hit him from behind a little bit. Okay. Yep, they called a rough. Well, we'll see what happens with the power play now. Coach Russ Rowe is gonna start with, uh, looks like uh, Axworthy, Lai, and Prince. Everly and Conklin. Everly gets the puck, throws it up onto the stick of lie. He throws it to the center and it's an errant pass that goes onto Ellen's stick. Ellen's just goes rink wide and fires it. Low shot. And now they're going to try and break. That was, a, that was a good shot and a good save for that matter. lie has got the puck. He's got the goal today. He gets bodied up. He's got to work through that check. It still works hard. He throws a shoulder into it and on the stick of Corey Prince. He throws it out onto Everly. Everly trips down, keeps it on his stick. Loses an edge, recovers, picks the puck off. He's, and he was, 
to be good here. And he was very patient with that as he, uh, as he maintained, kept his head up, allowed the offense to regroup there. That was good by Jack. Jack skates off and Grayson Johnson comes on. Prince has the stick and it's on to Conklin. Conklin fires drive. Plink goes around. Off the goaltender, on the stick of Axworthy, into the net, they score. Power play goal. All that right there was caused by Jack not giving up on that play. Got the puck back in the zone and never came back out. And the patience he had right here in front of us was very uh, was, was very good and allowed the team to recover and uh, regroup. That's what they practice, in, that's what they do in the practice. And maybe, uh, well, the only thing we'll say there is maybe Jack Everly needs to get his skate sharpened. <laughs> So it's two to one. We got 9.34 left in the first period here. Notice so far the game has been pretty much hockey, not so much of the crazy physical stuff and running at kids, you know. Well, I'm sure Coach Russ Rowe has suggested that they stay out of the penalty box after last week's uh, game against Lakeland. That's uh, Aggie with the puck. Lynch gets it. He swings around the defenseman and he's on a break. He's got Cole with him. It's a two on one. He throws it rink line. Cole tripped over the blue line. Not sure what happened there, but uh, must have lost an edge there. Maybe it's the soft ice tonight. Who knows? But he'll uh, have a laugh at that one. Yeah, he's like grabbing his vision of Kyle trying to get yeah. to the open side of the ice. That's right, and there was a two on one chance there. Kyle Lynch has got the puck again. He's with Agby, two on two. He throws it like the drill. Just like the drill suggests, throw it off the pad, see what happens. Cole must have a... Something, something wrong with his... Uh, it's not the snow, it's something, I don't know. He might have something wrong. Tire shoes! Looks like to me, he might have an edge lost on the left stick. Well, let's see what happens. It, Grizz has got the puck, loses it on the stick, and goes down to the deep in the zone. Nagy's on the attack. Good up, good up. Yeah, good pass by the Orchard Lake team. And now Ellens is up with, uh, with Jasnick, number 66. He throws it down, and Luke Connolly, puck is loose. It's a good defense there by uh, Werner back there. He got, calmly got the puck out of there. Luke now covers it up. Luke should have covered it up that first time. It looked like he was trying to play it, and perhaps, uh, probably he should have freezed it. Good stop there by uh, Luke Connolly on a fluttering shot by uh, Passwater, number 88. Yep. Cole's going back to the locker room. Something looks like he could be wrong, which means his old man might have to split here. I'm not sure what he's doing. Yeah, okay. That'll cost his old man another $6 for skating. That's a good pass. outlet pass by Grizz on the stick of Neji. Neji's all by himself. I'm not sure what the... Uh, Team is yelling. Everly keeps it in the zone. Patience throws it down deep into the zone so Grizzini can continue to attack, but he's going to change his mind, skate off. Lai is going to come on along with Axworthy and uh, Nager are on there still. Conklin's got the puck, throws it backwards onto the stick and around over the stick of, pass it onto the stick of, uh, that's, uh, that's Axworthy. Yep, he's got to take a look. No. Uh, good look, though. Good try. Yeah, a little sooner. Might have been the Prince was right there for him, but he. He's going to recover. Orchard, Lake's, Orchard Lake looks a little sloppy right now. A little, they're uh, chasing a lot, so there's too many of them in the zone. That's Conklin and Johnson now back together. Uh-oh, Conklin fans on it. He's getting bothered back there. Conklin's going to come here and just get, and get rid of it. That's the smart play. Theo Lai's got to get over there and win that puck. Here goes Patrick Axworthy. He's got a head of steam with three away. Patrick's wide. He's looking. He sees... Play is onside. He does try to throw it up front this time. Good idea. Passwater's got the puck. Gives it away to Illich and uh, intercepted by Cameron George. I haven't said Cameron's name too much. He almost got tattooed there. Got his head up just at the last minute. There's Biggs, number nine, working hard.
Oh. I'm not sure if I would uh, pick a fight with that guy if I was Biggs. He's the big man on the ice there. Elenick goes down, and Cameron makes a nice play and clears it out of the zone. Four checking his Biggs and Axworthy. Cole's back to the bench, so whatever it was, it's. Good hustle by Biggs down there in the corner. He's working hard. That's Conklin now. He's got the puck deep in the zone. Throws it, reverses it on the stick of Biggs. He's got to get that puck just over that. He's got to use that glass there. That'll be a good learning lesson for him when he sees it on video. Here comes now Prince. Now the puck comes out and onto the stick of, uh, that's Ayrton, number eight. He throws it rink wide. Cameron George lays a shoulder into number two and breaks up the play. Starting to get a little physical out here now. Corey Prince leaves a nice uh, check into the uh, number eight on this. Werner and Werner to Prince again. See how Prince used the high glass there and got the puck out of the zone. He goes for a change. It's a good play. Oh. Well, you're seeing an up and down game here. You know, there's, it seems like it's going to be one of those that's going to grind it out. But one thing you're noticing is that. Eagles are still having trouble getting that puck out of the zone. Yeah, that's true. And uh, as a coming from the defensive side, I always contend it's the wing that's never there. But sometimes I guess the passes aren't hard enough to the wing to be able to get there. I've seen as a forward dad now, I've seen that as well. I'd like to see him skate with that puck a little bit more versus just dumping up the boards. There's a little more room than you think. Skate! You'd like to see the defense move it out of the zone? Yeah, I'd like to see them skate with the puck a little bit more. We don't really skate the puck up, we just throw it up the boards. And we have all that room. Yeah. You know, take a little bit more time, you got more time than you think. Skate with that puck, make a good pass, keep your head up as you're going up the ice. Don't just throw it up the boards. It's hard for those wingers to catch that puck at their feet. Sure. That's Agby now, he wins the draw cleanly. Everly pinches in, misses the puck. And Orchard Lake comes out of the zone with it. That's, that's a good little poke check by Werner. It comes on a stick of Everly, who pops it down to Kyle Lynch's stick, and on to Schmidt. Cole, I think, looks like he's a little worried about his skates out there right now. Good tic-tac-toe passing. Agby's got the puck, and they're going to skate away now. He's going to come around, and he's got Cole with him. He's got a talk there. Oh, whistles one wide off his shoulder. Major's on the prowl now. Mason comes out, almost intercepts it. Here comes Mason Marcus with the play. He's got a chance. He throws it back, but nobody home there. It was the right idea. Got to be a little talkative, Nagy. He's got a call for it there. Grayson Johnson's going to come back and wheel around. He's going to reverse it onto the stick, back onto the stick of Nager. Doesn't handle it, but Mason helps him out. and He's got the stick, dumps it back for Nager, and Nager overskates it. So now it's uh, Grayson Johnson against Elenich, one-on-one. -on -one. Conklin hustles back, gets back to his position. Good back check by Grazinia there. He tied up that man Elenich there who was in scoring position. Now nager has got to hustle over and win that puck. He can't let that defenseman come in and beat that puck. Elenich at the top of the slot, fires a drive, punched away by Grayson Johnson, number two. That's a good play. A lot of times you want to have to get, get, get that puck, but he knew he had a chance at it. Grayson Johnson throws it back now onto the stick. He's got to look to see who he's throwing that puck back to. I, this is, got to learn to play with your head up. Nager gets lambasted by Elenich in the corner. Now they're falling down all over the place. Grayson comes away with the puck. Stops and drops onto the stick of Mason who doesn't uh, corral it and loses the puck. This unit's having a little bit of trouble getting it out of the zone. It all starts with a breakdown. Conklin's got it, throws it right on the stick of the point. Nice save by Connolly there with the right lower pad. Grizz does, does a nice job of getting it out. He should get the line and dump it. But he's gonna go and take it all. Fires it on the puck, it's blocked. Grizzinia falls down and the cavalry comes and they make a change for the USA Eagles. This is, this is now 22, Axworthy. Surprising no call there. He did a good job of back checking. That's Prince that's on it. This Prince lie. This lie line. Theo win, almost wins the battle. 
Comes down to the stick now of Ferguson, number 12. Everly's falling down. He's got a, an edge problem too, it looks like. Ferguson dropped it back to Ferrich. Ferrich and it's intercepted by Werner, who's got a head of steam. See, the defense skating with the puck, they got a lot more room. They need to do that more often. When you know you got a team that's got a good defense and they can skate with the puck, the backs, their, their line is up. Right. There's more space. Here comes now, that's Ferguson again. I said his name. They do have a short bench. I guess that's why I'm saying Ferguson a lot tonight. It's a nice blocker saved by Connolly. That's where Conklin has got to get to that puck before the defenseman does. That's a, I don't want to pick on anybody, but he's got to be a little bit more aggressive in making sure he gets a hockey, uh, get his stick on the puck or gets the body on the, on the player. Agby does a nice job of forechecking, tries to dump it, it comes off a skate. Agby looks like he's hustling out there tonight. Looks like he has his legs. That should be an icing, I think, but if it gets the steam, Cameron's going to have to hustle over there. Cole does a good little job and pass to get it off the deck. It comes on to Agby. Agby throws it, and Prince is on the hunt. Prince wins the puck. Cole's calling for it, keeps it in the zone. So they're away here. We got 50 seconds left in the period. Luckily, that was an offsides call because Orchard Lake did have some numbers there. Yeah, it's still up and down, right? It's anybody's game so far. We just got to get the puck uh, with authority. It really makes a big difference when you can get that puck out. We handed it to him three or four times. So we got Eggby on the puck, wins the draw, pushes it forward and out of the stick of uh, the Orchard Lake player. Throws it up now and Everly's gonna get the puck and he's gotta move that puck and he throws it to the right wing. Cole's not there, he's gotta hustle and win that. Gets a good pass by uh, number four, Schmidt, onto the stick. Everly gets it, throws it onto the backhand. Cole's gonna get over there and misses it. He's gotta get that puck out of there. He's learning a new position. He just, I'll give him a break, I guess, without yelling at him. Lynch has got the puck. He throws it, that's not a smart play either. Kick saved by Grayson Johnson. 16 seconds left in the period. Agby's going to get the puck, poked it out. They got to get rid of it. Just get it out of the zone and eat it now. Let's not have any trouble. Cole uses his body. Lynch has got it. Fires a nice drive. Good little rush there at the end. Nice shot from the blue line by Kyle Lynch. So at the end of one, two to one USA Eagles. The shots are telling in eight for the USA Eagles and seven for the, uh, for the uh, Orchard Lake United. So I got Ian Axworthy here. What do you think of that first period there, buddy? Good hustle, stop throwing the puck away. Say that again, I didn't hear you. Good hustle, stop throwing the puck away. How about you, what'd you think there? Me no, no speak English. No. <laughs> very clever, very clever. Well, it's a, it's a good start, I guess. I thought Coley played well. Adrian, do you want to comment? No. No comments, nobody wants to comment. No comments from the peanut gallery while I kill some time here. Hey, Paulie. What do you think of that first period? Can't even get Paul Lynch over here to do that. Nobody wants to take the take it and run with it. So we're going to pause for station identification while we have a chance to catch our breath here and get ready for period number two. Underway, period two, that's Agby again. Agby throws it on. Cole hustles over there to get it. Paul Lynch won an interference call. Stick goes off a of Cole stick. Kyle Lynch, they don't communicate. Okay. 
So Vulich has got the stick. He skates around Conklin. Cameron George goes right in. Plink goes around. Somebody's on the ground. That's Cameron George. He brushes it out of the way. Kyle Lynch throws it. Gets, gets the puck and dumps it out of the zone. The puck comes out. That's going to be offsides. That was a close call there. Good job by the goalie to be alert for sure. That puck is coming right in the net. We just let him go around. You got to put a body in those guys. When we're going to the corner, you can't just let him skate. You got to let him go. I agree. I agree. So Coach, Coach Russ Rowe is going to have a word with that line and see if they can regroup there. They've been a little choppy this first period. And now comes the uh, lie line that look, with uh, Axler. They played pretty well tonight, I think. I think this is a good little match here. Uh, Corey Prince on the uh, on the left and the right with uh, Theo on the left. Jack Everly throws it on the stick of Prince. He throws it, gains the zone, hits the referee, comes right back onto his stick, allows him to plow forward. He's got a head of steam. He turns and fires back. He's looking for somebody to throw it. Throws a shot and hits the post. Far post, no less. Grayson Johnson comes around and dumps it in on the Axworthy. Axworthy throws it on front and on the stick of the uh, Orchard Lake team. That's number 22. He's got a head of steam. That's Ellenich. He's got a chance. Fires a shot. Whistles it right through the wickets of, uh, cool, uh, of uh, Luke Connolly. Right between the five hole there. That was a good play by number 22, Ellenich. Two to two now. We saw Corey with good patience on that. Nice shot. Came around the net. Just missed. You know what? Guy's going wide down the side. Didn't put enough body on him. Little well, guy it, and a big guy, and he went to the net. Made a great shot. Did look like the defenseman fell down a little bit trying to body him up. Uh, so uh, this Marcus now out there with Grazinia and uh, Austin Summers, number nine. Puck goes on to the stick of 71. It looks like Schultz. He throws it. Comes on to Cameron George's stick. He's looking for throw it to somebody. Gets on the stick of Grazinia. Virginia's going to go rink wide, wide, and tries to get around him, but he dumps it down there. There's nobody down there, but Mason gets on the hustles on it quickly. This is a checking okay. line. Mason falls down onto the back of number six. Number six has got a chance at it and throws it rink wide and intercepted by Cameron George. He's going to fire a shot wide, and it's blocker to side onto the stick of Mason Marcus. Checked off the puck. Number six get it. Grizz gets in there and pops at it. He's working hard back there. Mason's had some room now. He's looking what to do with it. He throws it onto the strict, back to the point of Werner, who patience and has to give it up. Puck kind of scooted off Werner's stick there, unfortunately. He gets it back now, and he's got patience. I will say, I think that the team, there you go. The team has shown good patience. Looks like we're gonna have a penalty here. It's calling an interference penalty. Looks like it's gonna be pink, pink staff, maybe, no? Oh, it's Marcus. It's a, so we'll go to our first PK now. Kind of got tied up a little bit there. Like that. Yeah, I missed that. I was uh, watching the play. It must have been from behind the play. So uh, it's a tough part of the game here now for the USA Eagles. They've got to rebound after giving up one uh, goal, and now they got to kill a penalty. This will be first uh, power play uh, for the uh, Orchard Lake United team. Good job for checking by uh, Theo Lai. Pokes off the check, and here comes Axworthy on it. Eight gets the puck and backhands it down to the link of the ice. Entire team's on the right, left side of the rink there, and Conklin's there. Keeps it in the puck, killing some time. Breaking away now is Ellenich again. He's got a head of steam. That's Everly back, and Everly tries to pop and makes a nice defensive play there and pokes it away from him off the stick. Takes the check, waits for the cavalry, comes on to stick of Theo. Theo throws it down, and that might get on the stick of goal onto the net. No, nope, that's going to be an icing. Relieve the pressure a little bit there. That was good. That was a good penalty killing uh, unit there. Good to get it out of the zone. A little bit more time. I'd like to see him scare that puck a little bit. Oh, nice boy. easy dump out. Yeah, he was getting bothered from behind, so I could see the panic. You know, these kids, they don't want to give up that goal. Let's see how they respond here. We got uh, a minute and 21 seconds left in the power play to, in the penalty to Mason Marcus. Pucks in front, loose. Cameron comes in and it goes onto the backhand of number nine and he throws it onto the link. Now Agby's got the puck and ahead of steam with Lynch. It's two on two. Got a scoring chance here. He leaves it on the stick of Lynch. Lynch fires it right between the, uh, hits the wicket of uh, number 88 who's limping and uh, comes out. That could be an icing the other way. But Jack Everly's gonna get the, and that's Grayson Johnson. Need a little stronger poke away there. That should be a penalty there. And they got it, they got it. Lynch got lambasted by number 19, who's going to get called for a rough. 
You should see here Adrian Lynch Give over here two now. More for chirping at the ref. Give him two more for chirping at the ref, she says. That's right. So we're going to play some four on four hockey for uh, 49 seconds, and then there'll be a minute and 11 second power play for the USA Eagles on the backside. 11.40, 11.40 left in the second period. They're good and open ice, a lot of open ice out there. Great, right. we've got to turn on the motor and let it go. Yep, and Lynch for that matter too. Puck comes on to Nystrom's stick and he dumps it down. Goes wide and that's going to be Everly that's going to get the puck. He makes a nice move onto the stick of Werner. Werner's got a head of steam. He's played a nice game so far tonight, I think, Werner. Made a couple of nice plays. That's Agby that's got the puck. He's got nowhere to go though with it because it's four on four. He was looking for a right wing and didn't have one. Kyle was behind him. So away comes Orchard Lake. Back checking is Agby. Puck comes, that was kind of a tricky, looks like it was a knuckleball handled by Luke Connolly. Puck comes right in front, pops up, goes right up and over the net. So it's not a power play. I don't know if the USA Eagles re realize that. Everly's got to win that puck. He sticks his nose in there and tries to win the puck and the two of them are there, that's Agby and Everly. Agby Everly working hard, comes away onto the stick of number six. Orchard Lake, Kyle comes up with a check, and now we've got a power play for the USA Eagles. I hope they know it. Kyle Lynch wins the puck. He's out of gas, so he's going to go off. Theo Lai comes on. Back to the stick of uh, Everly. Everly fires it rink wide onto Theo's stick, and here comes uh, Axworthy and uh, Corey Prince. Good job, Theo, holding it. He throws it down deep, and Axworthy's going to hustle over to get it and see if he can find a point man. He Tried to throw it rink wide to Conklin. Held in by George. Corey, it was a good hold. So Puck is plinkled around onto the stick of number 12. And they're going to have a chance to break out of this. Uh, good two on one on two. With, and that's Axworthy that's got a chance at it. He stops and loses number 22. Two very good skaters there. Stopped and popped. That's now Theo Lai who's at the end of a shift here, probably needs to get off. Prince is the same way, they lose the puck. Elmanich has played a nice game today. He's gonna get tired, I gotta imagine. That's a good tie up by Cameron George there. That's Conklin that falls down. It's dumped down yeah. off the stick of Lye, and Lye's gonna wanna get off. Here comes Grisinha. Here comes the defense now. That's Grayson Johnson and Jack Everly. They got a head of steam. Prince comes in. He tried to get the check and hurts himself, so it looks like. And that's number four who's got a head of steam. Grayson Johnson stays right with him. Stick again. That stick uh, was shot on the stick of uh, Coley and uh, uh, excuse me, of Luke Connolly, and it popped right up in the air. That's a good job by Grayson. They're just taking the man. <coughs> See, watch the puck. Nice outlet by Grazini on his actually stick. Chopped at it by uh, number Elenich. He throws it down, and that's going to be Grazini that's going to work as uh, Prince was going for a change. Here comes Neji. Neji does a good job somehow keeping in the zone. We're all even now. So good job for the U.S. Eagles in killing that penalty at a critical time. That's Warner with the puck on to Grayson Johnson. He's looking. Comes on to Schmidt's stick. So here comes Grazinha now. He throws it uh, off the dasher. Right there. It's going to go rink down. That's not going to be an icing, so Werner's going to have to regroup and get on it. Werner gets it. He throws it down. Good communication by Grayson Johnson. That just that pass by Werner just needs to be a little bit stronger. Coley, uh, Ernie, the, uh, Luke Connolly thought the puck was in the net there. He thought he missed it. That's Werner back there working hard. Grazini's got a puck. He's got a head of steam now. He needs to gain the line and dump it down so that we can get a change. He gets hammered. Back check. That should be a 10 minute if I've ever seen a 10 minute. These days, though, although I will say the rest have called a nice game today, that was clearly a penalty. Two and a 10. As it should be. And I'll tell you something, I, please stop me if you need to. Uh, looks like Cole's got an edge problem, doesn't he? Uh, that, uh, that bench is thin, and when you lose a player for 10 minutes, that's going gonna, gonna to be an advantage for the Eagles. Better players too is a hustler. So. Yep. So here we go. Power play. That's Agby, Cole, and uh, Lynch. Throws it down, and Cameron gets it. Pulls it back. Fans on it. Coach Rose Rose not going to like that. Conklin's going to have to stop a two-on-one. 
luckily, I don't, Cole's got something wrong with his skates. He is, he has got to get that skate fixed. Get off! So that's Cameron, who's got a stick. Cole's there on the wing. He's going to go and get it and throws it, tries to leave it for Agby. Maintains his patient. Nystrom holds it in, though, number two. Cameron George at the end of a shift's got to be out of breath. He's still got the minute 13 left in the. Agby comes on. He throws it on the stick of Cole. He's got a chance. He gets knocked off the puck, throws it at the net. And they, oh, I'm not sure what happened, but Prince didn't make that happen there. It looked like it was good to go in. I thought Conklin had a chance at it. That's Cole now working back between. Uh, that's Axworthy now. That coach is yelling something like there's a fire or something. That's Axworthy onto the stick of Conklin. Conklin throws it. It's not scooped up. Cole gets the puck. He's got some patience here. He gets pushed off to the puck as he gives it off to, uh, I think that's Corey Prince over there. Cole's going to skate off, and here comes Theo Lai to get on the They're working it back now. Pace is picked up now. Onto the stick of Axworthy. Ax I'm sorry, uh, Jack Everly fires it. Rink pushes the wide. It's a good power play here. Almost, and that's going to be cleared. That'll be icing, and we still have uh, about 10 seconds left in the period, in the uh, penalty, excuse me. 6.04, still 2-2. Two two. Well, good pressure down there. It's Lots of patience with the puck. You see what they're doing down there? They're working it, right? They had their heads they up. They weren't they... scrambling, though. The other team wasn't scrambling, which made it more difficult. They had a lot of good pass and almost got one there. I like to see the patience on there. Yeah, and after playing all these uh, higher end teams, you can hear and see that, uh, you know, that we've developed some patience here. We've had some actual time. Get a couple of shots on the net, we should put this game away here as the third period wears on. Corey Prince threw a backhand. We're all even now, and on comes uh, number six to even, even it up. So Grayson Johnson's going to swoop around and get the, tuck, the, the puck. He leaves it to nobody. He's got to learn to keep his head up there and make sure he's got somebody there. Prince clearly tripped by Ferguson, 12, and the referees miss it, and they're going to score. Well, I'm not sure I agree with that one. It's an unfortunate goal, but uh, when you... <coughs> that all... What you got to do is you got to get the puck out. That's true, and that, that's, See, that starts... Matter. All that other stuff, you got to get the puck out of the zone. That start... hard. That's right. That's you're right. tired, you're scrambling, get it out. It doesn't matter. That starts with Grayson Johnson back there. He just kind of left that pass back there, and unfortunately there was nobody there, and it led to uh, uh, the opportunity. So Conklin's going to get the puck. They're down. They're trailing now. Throws it up. Virginia's working hard. Ties up Ferguson. Puck goes on to uh, Orchard Lake stick. That's Summers taking on uh, Pinkstaff. He's big number 13. He's winging around, and Cameron lays some weight into him and wins the puck. That's a good play by Cameron George. grazini has got to get there to win that puck and throws it down. That's not what you want to do. You don't want to throw it down the ice. You need to go cross ice with that, Grizz. Clearly, the momentum's on the Orchard Lake side right now. Orchard, like you think, uh, having a lot smaller bench would be a lot less, uh, a lot more gassed, and it looks like we're gassed right now. Short bench here into the game. We're playing more, yeah. Guys yeah. That's right. Good hockey game so far, though. 4:49 left in the second. Eagles are down one. They cannot give up another goal. Somebody's hurt there at the top of the block. That's uh. That's Austin. It looks like he got elbowed to the jaw, maybe. He is pounding his fist down. Hopefully, he's not hurt bad. Take a shot off his knee, I think. Coach Paul Torres is going to come out there and uh, take a look at him.
Biggs looked like he hurt his knee. He's having some trouble. I, I didn't quite see what happened there. I, I know it's your kid. You gotta go. You gotta go. It's the, uh, he's all right. You think? Like I don't know. I mean, he was. Just took a wrist shot from the point. Was, was a bad spot. Right so above was the, the, you're saying it was a puck to him? Yeah, below okay. the pants and above the knee. Pick it up, boys. Let's, let's go, Eagles. Yeah, he'll be all right. Okay, kid, play tough. Move your feet! So we're, Aiden Agby's got a chance. He's got a head of steam, and it's a two on one with Lynch trailing. He throws it. Just got tipped and goes wide left. Cole's gonna get the puck. He throws it back to Agby. Looks like they're on the power play. Back onto the Cole stick. Cole's looking for. He throws it on to uh, Agby stick, and they're looking for someone to fire to him. My guess is they should throw it to the point, maybe get it on Conklin stick. Cold. Oh, damn it. You can't force it. You can't force it. Yeah, he tried to force something. And then he reacted poorly there. That's going to be good film work for us to uh, take a look at. So that's Cameron George. Puck comes out in front. Cameron's got the puck. He's going to loop around. He's got a chance. He's got to find it. Puck comes off the stick, off the skate of Lynch. And, not out of the zone. Conklin comes out of the number. Cole's got to win. You got to win that. Look. Breaking out. Conklin's got a head of steam on the puck. He's going to go coast to coast here. He's going to come in. That's good defense there. A couple defensemen on there. And now there's going to be a breakaway. And actually he's playing defense now. And Cole's going to have to do some back checking. Skate. Wheels around. A lot of people falling down today. Not sure why. Help! Thank you! Help him! Puck comes out in front and they score. Well, just, uh, things are going to have to change here. It's just not a. You just got to take a guy in front of your own net. You can't let him stay in there. End of the story. I agree. I mean, there's a guy out there standing by himself. It's 5 on 5 taking me. It comes from Cole down there. He's down there behind the back of the zone. He throws it out to the point. He's got to make sure he has a man to throw it to. He probably saw someone at the point, and that's what he'll say. But clearly, it wasn't the right move when you got some momentum down there. Now we're down two goals. Puck comes out, bounces into the middle. Got a penalty coming to USA Eagles, and, uh, and Luke skates off. Theo's got the puck. He's going to dump it down and see what happens there. They get the puck now, and the puck's going to go down deep in the zone. So it's going to be a two-minute penalty on the USA Eagle team. I'm sorry, on the uh, Orchard Lake United team, number four, it looks like. Power play, we need a goal here. Two minutes for, uh, I'm going to call it hooking, I think it was. So we'll have to see what happens here. Everly and Werner back on the blue line with X were the Prince and Y. Corey. Wins that puck, he's skating around the net. He's looking for someone to go, somewhere to go with. Loses an edge. Well, I tell, can't tell you how many edges we've lost tonight. Flipped out of the zone, we're gonna have to regroup. Held in nicely by uh, Jack Everly down there, and Prince is gonna get the puck. And now it's on the stick uh, down deep. It keeps, see a lie keeps it in. Gotta pop one in here. That's actually circling around with it. He throws it down to Everly. Everly, it pops off his stick. Gotta have a little stronger shot from there if you can. That's going to be iced down, and we're going to start all over again. Two minutes left in the period, a minute and a quarter left in the power play. If they go out front, screw that goalie. We need that big body out front. We need a good hard shot from the point. Stay in front of the goalie. Can't let him see that puck. Let him see the puck. Well, there's some music that scared the hell out of me. I'm not sure what kind of music that is, but Brendan George, we're going to have to work on that. So we got some power play time here. Cameron and Jack Everly along with uh, Agby, Lynch, and Cole. Throws up there, and Cole was right there to pounce. That's a good glove save by the... Uh, Nobody out front. That's an easy save. It's like kicking a soccer ball. Yeah, it was right off the face off, though. It was, it was a quick shot. I'll give him that. job to get to the front of that net right away. Right out front. So they're going to try it again. Cole's out in front there. It, it, oh, and he almost had a chance to pop one in. 
That's Grayson Johnson that's going to throw it in there. And the puck is going to come out and come deep, and Cameron George has got to get on the hunt. Cameron's going to be chased around by Big, Big 12 and throws it down to the backhand of Cole Stick. Cole throws it on the stick of Lie and the Agby, excuse me, and the puck never got out of the zone. Cole falls down again. The whole team is falling down. What the hell is wrong with these edges here? Cole's got the puck. Gets muscled off by six, and his old man's going to be pissed about that, I can tell you that. He wins the puck back, working hard, but this is a power play, and this is... Look! I'm not sure Cole's the answer on this uh, Eggby line. I think hard to say. I'm very critical of my own kid, though. Falling down, unfortunately. Down two goals. We got to pop one in here. Take it right above there. Oh, is that where you hit it? Okay. Blocking it off. Yep. All right. Conklin throws it, and they score. Mason Marcus. That is Nathan Conklin through a wrist rocket. It was batted down out of the air by Mason Marcus. Got his own rebound, backhanded over the left shoulder of the drum. It's now a ball game. It's now four to three with one minute left in the second period. You gotta shoot the puck. You gotta shoot it with authority. If you shoot the puck hard towards the net, you never know what's gonna happen. I agree wholeheartedly. Mason did a great job. It looks like the puck was up on end. Yep. Right he'll... on a stick and your roof was a great shot. Yeah, he'll be happy with that one. I'm sure we'll see that on bid swap. So now there's some momentum now for the USA Eagles. It's... It's uh, Marcus, Grazinia, and Neji that are on the puck there. Werner's going to have to beat him to the puck. He does. I think Werner's had a solid game tonight. Mason Marcus is uh, on the puck as Grazinia gets the puck. He throws it in the front, but there's nobody home. He's got to communicate a little bit with his teammate. Throws it down deep and onto the stick of Grazinia. Grazinia gets knocked off the puck, but keeps it on the stick of Neji. Neji's looking around. Neji Conklin pinched nicely. Oh, and Grazinia falls down. It's loose. Oh, they have a chance to score there. So many Eagles losing edges tonight. Good idea by Conklin. Conklin's going to get over there and have a chance. And he turns around and fires a slap shot wide. Grazinia, this team, this unit's working pretty well. The first slap shot I've seen in a long time. I like to see that. Mason wins the puck back there. He's working, but he loses the stick. And he's not, or Neji, that was, and he loses the stick. He's got to hustle back and back check now. Stick comes rink wide. Axworthy does a good job of back checking. Here comes Zaxworthy on the puck. He's hustling around. He's got a chance to win that puck. There, this unit's hustling around. Neji's got to be careful. It goes out of the stick. Of hunt. And they score! No! Oh, I don't know about that. That looked like a goal to me. It looked like a goal to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have a chance to look at that uh, later tonight when we're analyzing this game. <laughs> to me, that looked like a goal. Captain Agby's over there talking about it, but it's uh, they're, I don't think they're going to win this one. It was it was tough. Nice little backhand check. Yeah. Looks like the USA Eagles might have found a soft spot in the goalie up to top shelf. It's above my pig. I'm not going to stop and rewind it. I got a production going on here. We don't have instant replay. This is an instant replay. That's right. That's right. I need live streaming. I'm catching a lot of grief over here. I don't know. I don't think it was a goal personally, but the rest of the world does. I think the puck has to be across the net. right there. Yeah. Yep. So it's period number three coming up. It's four to three. USA Eagles are down a goal. Hey! Hey! Yeah, that's probably the right move. Cole's going to get replaced there. We're going to start there and we're going to start skating right then and there. We got uh, Axworthy out there. He's got the motor with Prince. This line was hot. Poked off the puck. Despite that being a no call, that was a, a good momentum for the guys. They put it in the net. They know they can. Just got to shoot the puck. That's signs number six has the puck. He's on the right wing looking for somebody. Can't find anybody. Looks to go back to the point. Nobody home. The U.S. Eagles cannot give up another goal. 
if they want to have any chance of scoring two points here. That's big number six. It's, their gun is a size problem. He's a big boy. And there are acts where he comes on and Averly gets the puck. He's got his head up. He's looking. He's going to keep skating. He's got a chance. He throws it on the stick now of Prince. And Prince throws it. Whistles it wide onto the stick of... And that's Cameron George. He gains line. Oh, they're going to call an icing on that. That's weak! You think that was icing? It was close. It was about a foot behind. I'm getting... Usually they let that go, but... Yeah. Not this time. No, that's true. So here comes the uh, new lines. New five. We got 14 minutes left and 15 seconds left in the third period. Critical period for this. That's Kyle Lynch playing center now. It looks like maybe they moved Lynch uh, Agby over to the uh, over to the wing and put Lynch now on the uh, on a wing. Lynch gets knocked down. Cole has lost What's his footing. He's got Ryan. something to do with his. He's got his a, dad needs to go to the pro shop. His dad needs to go to the pro shop. I got a thing in his bag too. It's only seven bucks. Yeah. I, yep. Cole just, Cole just got pulled. He can't skate. He can't play. Major's getting some time on the right wing now. Conklin gets the puck, throws it out. So the referee's saying it's tipped. Marcus is going to get the puck. He throws it just over the Lynch, and now that's a, that's a Nager with a break. Loses the puck, he gets hit from behind. They're not gonna call a penalty there. I guess I don't know what I'm looking at anymore. Here comes Grayson Johnson, number 13. Mason's gonna come back and help out, and Luke Conley's gonna freeze it up. Got anything in your uh, bag, in Mason's bag, in uh, Biggs' bag that has a uh, fix that? You know what? It just looks like it's an outside edge. It keeps falling on that left foot. Yeah. So it looks like Scott Marcus is going to get over there and give him some attention, the trainer of the team. I'm trying to see what's going on. It's obviously an edge problem. That's what I get for not watching practice last time. Grayson Johnson, everybody seems to be falling down. Maybe we need to get a skate, skate sharper on the team. Schmeltz throws it, fires it, kicked aside by Grayson Johnson. Marcus has got the puck. He throws it around, gets picked his pocket. And Summers is going to hustle out there. Good to see Summers back out there after he's going to have a little bruise in the morning. That's Marcus now. He's got he's going left wing, up the lot. Referee gets in the way, dumps it down. Grazinia gets in there. A lot of falling down today. Warner patiently throws it to the wing so we can all tag up. We tag up, and Brzezinski's got a four check on that. Comes Patrick Axworthy. He goes, throws it down deep, and they're going to turn away and get off. Here comes Lai and Prince. Good block by Cameron. He got hit in the leg, it looks like, and stands him up. Pucks down behind the net now. Six has got the puck. Good size there. Theo Lai's gets the puck. Theo Lai tries to backhand it, hits him in the face, and hits him. He keeps skating. Number 12, Ferguson behind the net. Throws it down on the stick of, uh, that is Prince. He throws it down, and not sure where he went with that. You got to look up and throw it right onto somebody else's stick. Which is easy. They think they don't have enough time. They have enough time. Right? They do. That's probably true. That's a Werner. To... Werner throws it down the rink wide. It's picked off by Passwater. Passwater, number 88, tries to chuck, shake and bake around Axworthy, and Cameron George is going to come get the puck. That's going to be Werner, who's had a solid game today. He overskates the puck, throws it, patience with it, gets it on the stick of Lynch's. On to Lynch. Lynch goes rink wide to Prince. Lynch and Prince. Could be a new line name. And here comes Axworthy now. He skates it around. He fires a shot and gets blocked by Passwater. Lynch back on the stick. He's got a chance. Throws it up and over and almost gets him. Lynch is going to hustle over, keep it in. Back on the stick. Lynch is, Lynch is going to had to regroup there. Lynch comes in and they're going to. Prince is out. He's got. 
He's got to calm down. He's, oh, that's Conklin. I'm, oh, maybe it was Prince. Getting a little physical now. So that's major fans on it. Conklin gets the puck. He throws it down onto the stick now. Schmidt. Schmidt goes rink wide to number seven, Nilich, I think. Kyle loses an edge. Everybody's losing edges today. That's a Everly keeps the puck and gets in, and Lynch is going to get off. Onto the stick now, number six again. Ten minutes left in the period. Uh, Everly didn't, I'm not sure what happened there. Here he goes, here comes uh, Neji. Neji throws it down deep. Virginia is going to hustle on along with Mason Marcus. 22, Big Elich wanted to change, and here comes 12 on the puck. That's what all that commotion was. Johnson keeps it in the zone. Throws it out softly as Marcus overskates it. Number six has got the puck. Here comes Theo Lai. That puck comes out of the zone and dumped down deep by Ayrton. Virginia's going to get it. He overskates it or underskates it, I guess I should say. Took a long angle at it. Puck is plopping up there and throws it out onto the stick of uh, USA's got to start to regroup. With nine minutes left, they got to start to attack again. It's been a while since we've attacked. Seems like we're balling up in our own zone a lot of this game today. We got more time than we think we're gonna skip that puck. Yeah, on the stick of air at number eight. He throws it, hits somebody in the head. Plinkled out, could have gone in the net. Now Theo's got the stick. Theo's least got a chance. That's Theo Lie. One on three, throws it on the net. Goes in there and does a nice job of uh, winning the draw down there. It's been a good hockey game. I guess uh, Cole's done for the day. Everybody's going to throw it on the net. Kept in front. Yeah, kept in front. I think Prince has had a nice game today. Stayed out of the penalty box. That's always important. Yeah. Yeah. Everly slaps it on down and yeah. They communicate. He's got it. Prince has got it. Good shot. Oh, good shot by Axford. Didn't get a bunch of wood on it, but it did pop up in the air nicely. Theo's behind the net. See, you can see the Orchard Lake team's getting tired. Giveaway by Theo there in the back of the zone comes out and they break out real well. That's now Juzak that's got it, number 66. He fires it, blocked onto the stick of Conklin. He calmly gets it and now Theo gets it and he throws it onto the good little backhand but never clear the zone. Now Everly's got the puck. Everly goes onto Theo and he dumps it on the uh, Theo looking to get off. He had a good shift there. That's 34. Axworthy he's chasing. Actually, let's see what he's got left in the tank at the end of the shift. He's skating away with Prince. He's going to take it wide. He's shaking and baking. Stops and pops. Throws it onto a stick of life. And Prince misses the stick, but Summers is out there. Summers is out there. He's looking to throw it down deep. He throws it on his uh, Prince's stick. Prince has got waggling around. Almost broke a stick there. That's a good job by Biggs. He throws it onto Conklin's stick. He probably wasn't the the right pass there. He probably should have gone back down low, but it's going to go on to Conklin. Stick and Prince has got to hustle off, along with Axworthy. He's been out there a long time. Passwater whistles it wide. 19 finish is going to get there. This is the part time where you got to be careful. Can't have any mistakes in your own zone. Actually, they got his pocket picked. That's Lynch out there now, four checking. Bothering number six. Oh, that's, how that's. Lynch has got a chance at it now. It's one on two. He throws it down deep. Here. He's hustling after it. Yeah. Now we got to get over there. That's Mason Marcus now playing right wing. He gets on there and hits him nicely. Comes up to the point. Plinko's wide. That's a good little throw to the net by Werner. That's Kyle who's got the stick. He's not sure where to go. That's 
He's just circling around out there. They're trying to find the puck. Six has had a nice game for the Orchard Lake United team. He's very patient back there. Well, it looks like we're gonna see a penalty on Mason there. Not the smartest penalty. Uh, obviously this late in the game, a tripping call. Frustrated down there, they couldn't get the puck. Yeah. They make, trying to make the play being physical. Yep, you got to control your emotions though in this game. That's a part of it. It's a team game. So now we got to go to the penalty K and Cameron George and Jack Everly along with Agby and Grisinha. Aiden's sport checking hard. He's got a chance. He's battling through like a football player through the uh, through the offense, through the defense. Grisinha. Good job by Grazini, he's got a chance. He gains the line, throws it down deep and hustling after it. He's looking for somebody, but he can't find it. He's got a shake and bake, he throws it on there and it's calmly gloved. That's a good play by Grazini to kill some time. 137 left in the power play. 5.52 left in the game. Yeah, I agree. Force him to make a save every time. Puck goes over Grazinia's stick and Ellen has got it. It's two on two now. Agby and Grazinia are back hustling around. It's a good shot and good save by Luke Connolly. That's only about their third or fourth save. It's just unfortunate we've had a couple of bad bounces. Werner is uh, twisted around back there, and oh, Luke Connolly had to be aware of that one. It was coming right at his face, but if he would, didn't see that one, it appeared. He was in the right spot at the right time. So it's uh, five minutes left in the third. I think the USA's got to start to thin the bench out a little bit, and they lose it. Oh, it comes out in front. Good job by Conklin to push the uh, Ferguson off the play. He whistles it around wide, it comes out. Right onto the forehand of, uh, that's a high stick by Conklin. This is a power play with 56 seconds left here. Yeah, they score. Threw it right on the net and wasn't much over it, just scooted around uh, Luke Conley. So that's a power play goal. Make it five to three. Now, unless I miss something, just, there's still a guy standing by himself off front. You gotta get that stick up off the ice. Just yep. get it up off the ice. Yeah. The shot's harmless of this. The stick's not on the ice. Yep, it's unfortunate. So we're gonna have to put the pedal to the metal here if, if we want to have anything happen. Luke looked a little slow to that one as well. That was a good solid, hard shot by the point from number six. Said his name quite a bit today. He could have been their best player tonight. We're losing the size battle back there. Werner has played a nice game, but he got his pocket pick there. Crumpled up now, and it goes off a of Theo stick down low. Three USA Eagles and one, the Orchard Lake comes out with it. That's Grayson Johnson back there. Actually, he tries to shake and bake, and he got a quick little head of steam now. He's gonna try and set to the center. He's got Prince with him. A little too much stick handling, ne needed to uh, lay that off there. Prince stands him up, Vujic now, and it comes down to stick of Neji. He's got a chance to go with it. Good back check by Prince, using his body. Neji dumps it and goes right onto the stick. He's got to learn to throw that behind the net, worst case. Kyle gets the puck, intercepts it. Gets stood up by 22. Elinich, he's played a nice game today. And now this Ed, Ed Nagby, he's got a chance. Nobody's going to stand him up, that's for sure. And throws it back to Kyle and he throws a shot out on the net. And it's a glove save by number 18. Got 
gotta keep firing at the nut. You never know what's gonna happen. Keep firing it. Yep. Sorry. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Three know. minutes now left in the period. We've got to put, pop two goals. It's a wonder if we'll pull the goalie or not. Get one right here. Got to get one here. So they do a good job to keep it in, but he throws it, whistles it wide, and uh, that's going to be uh, Grayson Johnson. Doesn't know he's got somebody behind him, I don't think. Almost got his picket, pocket picked, and Kyle Lynch gets it. Throws it under the, turns it over there. Good elbow on the Lynch. He's going to go. He's going to go the box for elbowing now. Coach Russell didn't like that call. Just two guys battling for the puck, head down. It's a hockey play. It's just this new rule you know. Yep. They, they pussified, that's the word I like to use. They pussified Bantam hockey. Oh. Well, it's not what you want with two minutes and 30 seconds, seven seconds left. Doesn't look good for the USA Eagles. They're going to probably take one on the chin today. came out ready, firing, and it seemed like they wanted a little bit more today. Well, Just Cole trouble. losing an edge uh, and not playing the third period because of that. And yeah, time to come down to one person. It's getting the puck out of the zone. He's making good passes. And yeah, I agree. I agree. But it's uh, certainly... A little bit of time left. Get one real quick. You never know. Nice shot by, nice save by Luke Connolly there. That's Conklin battling down there. I'm sure the USA is trying to force the issue and Orchard Lake just wants to kill the clock. One minute, 52 seconds left. Don't forget that goal at the end of the first period. It didn't count. Well, not much going right now for the Eagles. Four seconds left in this game. That puck came out. Good call. So the U.S. Eagles will play again uh, Saturday. Against the Kensington Valley Raiders, they should be looking to rebound there uh, and then get back after it. And then they'll take the Christmas holidays off and regroup and play Kensington Valley again. That's the way the schedule looks the rest of the way. And then we're going to start into the Little Caesars playoffs as well as the district playoffs. Well, if we see this number 18 goalie again, it's obviously high as his weakness. We have to remember that if we see them in the district playoffs.
Someone needs to stand Ferguson up. Remember, and let them know who there's, they're at here. But 15 seconds left uh, in the game. I don't think that makes any sense. That'll do it here. Any last comments? Well, they just wanted it better than we did today, and they got it. You know, we just didn't come out firing. Just got to get the fuck out of our zone. And yeah, I agree. Well, that'll do it for this broadcast. It'll be on YouTube uh, here, here in a little while. Thanks, Scotty. Thanks, Adrian. No problem.